Question, what's better than talking about saving money? Well, talking about saving money with Steve Young. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Good, good. How are you? Good. And we'll be back in a minute. I have to tell you, I might have mentioned this to you before, and I think maybe if I'm wrong, you know, please, I apologize. But I think maybe one of your subscribers that might have said that that particular music has sort of an early 70s kind of feel. I have to agree. It has it kind of has that early 72, 74 well, you know what, Steve? Just for that, I'm going to replay it for those who want to get a second listen to see if they agree. Hang on. Okay. I agree with you, Steve, and I agree with so much with the viewer that said that, you know what, Steve, thank you so much. You know what? When I have a chance, I'm going to send you the full tune. There you go. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Jan from New York City, and I love to help people save more of their own hard-earned money. With me today, joining me is Steve Young from the Steve Young 74 channel. At this moment in time, his channel is random, but he does come on with great regularity. He has his Recipe Tuesday show, like Clockwork, every single Tuesday. On Thursday, he has another random subject type show on Thursdays. And on Saturday afternoon, many times, more often than not, I show up on his channel as a hangout time. Right, Steve? Oh, yeah. You know, we, you know, we have, I, I might as well go ahead and put it out there because it's true. You and I have certainly developed... Um, we're, we're, I guess you could say we're kind of like a household name by this point, <laughs> considering you and I have been recording, you know, doing videos like this for a couple of years and they, everybody here has come to know us. So, yes, you know, and it's fun. We have a lot of fun. Oh, you know, what? thank you so much for being here today. Steve and I are specifically going to talk about one of our favorite subjects and it's money keeping money saving. And I have to tell you something, Steve, since this is the beginning of the year, it's just January. Guess what I personally started? I did the $5 challenge already. And what it is, anytime a $5 bill shows up in my life, I will just take it. I will put it away. Let's say you get changed from the grocery store or wherever you go. Somehow you have a $5 bill in your life. Just forget it exists. Take it out of your funds and put it away. Right. It is only right. It is only like January 22nd. The show is going to air on this date, January 22nd. We're recording it on the 21st, but it's January 22nd. While you guys watch it, I already accrued $15. So that means I had three $5 bills. Put it away. A year from now, it will be very interesting for myself to come back and to visit this. I don't know what it's going to add up to, but I know this, Steve, if I have a hundred of those fives, that's $500. That's yeah. a lot. <laughs> there you go. Well, let's put it this way. Whatever the amount is one year from now, it's more than what you had before you started. It's the right. truth. And it's about being mindful of things. That's mm -hmm. what savings is really about, right, Steve? Being mindful. Now, I know that there is a method, and there are many people who are watching who have maybe never watched this channel before. Let's say that this video comes up in your feed and you're checking it out, and thank you for it, by the way. We appreciate that. And there's a method that Steve uses for saving that I personally really love. Would you mind mentioning it uh, if you have a second to do that? Oh, yeah. In fact... I've got my calculator here on my phone. Oh. So let's um, 
let's use somebody who's on a fixed income. On an average, give or take, let's say the average person gets a thousand dollars a month. We're just gonna remember you have no other income. This is what you have a thousand. Um, let's say between your utilities and any car payments or mortgage or, you know, whatever the case may be, let's say that your total expenses come to $700 a month. The picture up front may not look so great, but I'll elaborate. So a thousand dollars a month. Take away 700, that's going to leave you with $300. But do keep in mind, don't panic. Don't think, oh, I've only got $300, but I still have 20 something days that I've got to make it through. That's going to be hard. No, here's what you do. Um, as your bills come due, because different bills have different due dates throughout the month, I make it a point to pay it about three days before the due date, about three. So let's say your light bill is due on the 10th, pay it on the 7th. If you have um, your internet bill, cable, if you have the, a bundle system, or if you just have internet by yourself, by itself, let's say that's due on the 16th, pay that on the 13th, but you get where I'm going. So, as you pay it throughout the month, three days beforehand, um, your money will actually look like there's more there. It's actually beneficial to you. But let's say after you pay your last bill, let's say your last bill is due on the 22nd of the month. Okay, so you pay it on the 19th. Let's say on the 19th of the month, you've got three, uh, yeah, on the 19th of the month, let's say you've got, or let's say by the time that comes out of your account, let's say on the 21st, like it is now, or, you know, um, then what you're going to do is take that $300. January has 10, uh, 10 more days left. So divide by 10. So that gives you $30 a day that you can live off of. Now, keep in mind, in between those times throughout the month, you're going to have a few other things pop up that are necessities. Um, in example, if you have a car, those that do, you're going to have to put fuel in your car. So that's, you might be using a $20 bill there or, you know, something in between may pop up that's a necessity that you got to take the money out. <laughs> but you kind of get the idea of where I'm going with it. I'm just using 300 as an example. Let's say that's what's left, you know, just before the month is over because there's only really one more week left to the month for the most part if you think about it. And um, what I try to do, even though I've got 30 a day, I'm going to try to see if I can live off of 15 a day. That way I can put 150 aside. Guess what I've done? I've also done the $5 challenge, but I did the $5 challenge per day. Wow. Well, think about it. $5 a day times 30 is 150. That's Have awesome. But that's not always going to be like that. Month to month, things are going to vary. Yeah. And you don't always have the same utility amount or your bills are not going to be the same amount each month. It changes, it changes, it changes. But I just use that figure that I just showed you guys on an average to, to kind of give you an idea. And I wanted to give you a visual as to how it's broken down. No, I, I love that, Steve. You know what it is, too? It's really a matter of method, and it's a matter of choosing a method. Now, let's allude for a minute, and you did a video about SNAP benefit, the EBT video. I did. Uh, right. Um, if you don't mind, send that to me, and I'll hook it up in my uh, description, because that was okay. a good video. All right? Yeah, it was. 
you know, as, as I've mentioned, even in my own videos, there's going to be changes very soon. I mean, like really soon. And that $95 that people were getting, some states it's been long gone. Some states they're just going to get ready soon to lose it. Here's my question of the day for anybody on EBT that has gotten used to that 95 a month because the prices, right, Steve, haven't changed all that much for the better. No. no. I don't mean to sound like I'm gloom and doom or panic or anything here. This is why I'm bringing this up. We, anyone watching their budget, whether they are on EBT, whether not EBT, now is the time to start stocking up. It's never too late. That's why Steve and I do reminder videos, stockpile mention videos. We don't want to be repetitive. We don't mean to do that. Mm -hmm. We're trying to help people. If you know, if a person knows two, three months in advance that that 95 income is going away, wouldn't it stand a reason to figure out a way to make that money now? Because it's going to be a problem. Because for the most part, the prices have not come down. No, in my case, here in you know, the Sunshine State, Florida, there are no emergency, all that 95, those little droplets of money. That, that's been gone now for at least two years, two, two and a half. Nope, don't get it. So whatever EBT SNAP benefit that you get per month, that's it. There is no additional. So whatever you get per month, that's all you're, that, that's all you're working on. So in New York, even though the cost of living is higher there than it is here, but I won't say that, it also depends on where you live in Florida because some places in Florida oh, are more sure. expensive than others. But um, do I like the fact, I don't want to sound greedy here, but do I like the fact that Florida has stopped doing that? No, not really, because every little thing – you know, that we can get to be of help is to our advantage. Groceries haven't come down. No, no. That's why no. income has to go up. Up. It's, it's, I'm not saying it's a great thing. I'm not saying I'm so happy about all these situations, but if we can take better control, one or two things, Steve, it always boils down to either the income has to increase or cut back on expenses has to increase. You know, Steve, I don't know if you know this, but I did a poll on my channel about maybe three to four months back. Mm -hmm. And I asked my viewers, I said, would you rather increase your income or would you rather cut back on expenses? Take a guess which got the most popular answer. Well, let's see. Give me the choices again. Okay. Would you rather find ways to increase your income or would you rather find ways to cut back on your expenses. Oh, well, okay. Um, I'll give you my answer, whether it's right or okay. not. I don't know. Um, I'm thinking I would probably try to find a way to cut back on my expenses. Well, you fall into the vast majority. And the vast majority, this is why I like to do important survey questions. You'll never see frivolous survey questions on my polls. Every question I put out is with great thought. Okay. I'm not going to ask you, do you like orange? Do you like blue? Do you like, this is me. I'm just saying that's just the way I do things. However, that was a really important question, Steve. Okay. And you fall into that. Um, and the majority of the answer people rather cut back. So if you know that about yourself, then find ways, but plan ahead, plan ahead. Well, that would be, you're going to have to apologize for me throwing this answer out. It's, it no, is nothing apology. <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is sarcastic what I'm about to throw out there. I also like to use my community tab for more serious things. No, I'm not going to go on the community tab and say, what brand of underwear do you like to wear? <laughs> I'm, I'm just... <laughs> I know that's a little bit too TMI, it's a little too TMI kind of personal. You know, that means. Uh, yeah, means just slightly. Right. Or what brand of socks do you wear? That's a right. little bit. Exactly. Yeah. But, um, some people do not use 
the community tab like it really should be. That's really where you want to ask valid, important questions. I don't want to ask stupid things. And some I, people out I, there, and there are subscribers or, or people, YouTube creators, I'm just going to put it out there. I have seen some YouTube creators put up a poll or put up or ask a question on their community tab that is very stupid. <laughs> Sorry to tell you, I have seen it. Yeah. If you're going to ask that, you might as well ask my question. I, I About the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, everybody. No, no. <laughs> I digress. I, you get my I, we digress. You know what it is? I really want to know important information. I don't want to waste the viewer's time. That's no. essential. So honestly, was I surprised by that answer? Yes. I, Janet, individual person in this universe, I was surprised that my folks that follow this channel would prefer, I'll just cut back. But you want to know something? I tend to agree with that answer. I would rather cut back too. I like to yeah. earn, yes, but sometimes it's not always necessarily feasible. Sometimes it's not even worth it sometimes. Sometimes it's just not worth it. It's I'm not, not even going to get into that. That's mm -hmm. its own show. <laughs> and I already mm -hmm. went a little bit over time. Steve, I want to thank you. Do you want to add anything else to this show? Uh, not really. Just know that. Just know that anyone, and I know, and I think there may be one or two subscribers that may actually follow my money saving throughout the month tip, the example that I gave. I think there are a couple of my subscribers that follow that. And let me tell you, it's very effective. But the main secret behind that, just remember, everybody, is make sure, I mean, you are, you are going to use the money along the way because you got gas you have little things you may have to use the money for out of pocket you know things come up but remember pay your bill whatever the bill is about three days before the due date yeah and what yeah. that and, and then that what that does is it spreads your money out and when you get down to your last bill that you owe for the month that's where you're going to and then you'll have that figure. You don't want to pay everything at the beginning. Then that's going to make things harder for you. Make sure you pay it as you go. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Steve, I can't thank you enough. And I also want to thank everybody for coming by. Don't forget to head over to the Steve Young 74 channel for his Recipe Tuesday show and other shows that come out throughout the week. He's very religious about putting out those shows. And I respect that. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. But there is one favor I would love to ask all of you. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Take good care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.